I've been struggling with properly watering my plants this year, partially because of my own lack of education and not understanding all the issues that could be caused by over or under watering. One problem is we'll have a couple of weeks on end with no rain whatsoever while it's really hot, it's around 100 degrees right now. And then it'll rain for a week or so, raining multiple times throughout the day. And this has caused a lot of issues, especially with my tomatoes cracking and some of my other plants drying out. Another issue is uh, this land is not, I don't think, very good for drainage or retaining water or whatever it is. Uh, we have clay and sand in different spots. There's a pond just on the other side of that fence that I believe is meant to just drain off all of our rainwater. And then right on the other side of the street is the bay. So my grow beds have some fairly good looking soil. It's nice and dark with a lot of nutrients in it. Uh, but underneath it is uh, some sort of barrier cloth and beneath that is just straight up clay. And so I'm basically stuck only growing in the grow beds until I develop some better soil. I want to solve my problem of having inconsistent watering, be it too little water or too much water or just too much too little at the wrong times. And um, I'm learning how to better control that by passive means. Right now my only means of watering plants is the hose coming out of the house which has chlorine in it which could mess up some microbiomes and also limits me to just what the hose can reach which luckily most of my growing area is in the garden behind you but I still want to expand and put grow beds all along this entire back reach as well as in the back corner. The best way I can think of to do this is to build up a rain catchment system and use some sort of smart irrigation system to irrigate all my plants without having to waste water. I want to eventually use computers, uh, probably with an Arduino and the Internet of Things, to measure and control exactly when and how much water my plants get. But for the time being, I want to start off with just building a rain catchment system and some sort of system to deliver water to the roots of the plants in this grow area. So that's what I'm planning on doing today and I want to take you along with me. Uh, I want to do this as cost effectively as possible. It's the middle of 2020, my income is zero, and I don't foresee the economy getting much better a lot sooner. And I want to keep this down to almost the materials that I have on hand. Okay, so my plan is, over here is my main garden. Uh, I want to utilize this a whole lot more, but before I start planting a whole bunch of stuff there, I want to have this irrigation system at least functional, if not controlled. So what I'm thinking of doing, over here in this corner, I've made a little pathway to the fence uh, over by the neighbor's house. And I want to put a rain barrel over here. You can get these kinds of trash cans at Home Depot or Lowe's for like $15 to $20. And we just had this one sitting around. Uh, it's got a couple of leaves in it, but this never had trash in it. We basically never used it. So rather than go out and buy a 55 gallon barrel that people are selling on Craigslist for like $100, around here, I figured this is a good alternative. And so I had this one sitting around, but you can pick it up for 20 bucks. I also, on the property, found this hose, which is an inch and a quarter hose of some sort that I, I'm willing to bet the previous owner was using it as some sort of irrigation hose as well, because if you come over this way, you can see down there is a little hose spigot thingy on the ones that you pull it up and it starts flowing. And that has, I believe this hose hooked up to it. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it did. In any case, I have plenty of this 
one and a quarter inch hose and I'm not planning on drinking this water so if there's some dirt in there that's fine I'll you know flush it out a whole bunch that's two parts of it that are already existent here all right so this is what I'm planning on putting this thing up on this is just a simple frame I built with two by fours I think it's actually cut down two by sixes or two by eights uh, all this darker wood is I think cedar it's either cedar or redwood either way it's uh, very water resistant and then some of it is pressure treated pine actually the rest yeah so I'm not worried about it rotting and it's held together with waterproof deck screws and I actually had this for an aquarium but I don't even use that aquarium anymore so well, it's not perfect, as you can see, the, this doesn't quite fit perfectly on this. Uh, I'm going to get a piece of plywood and place it under here, uh, or maybe find some other wood to put under here. I think that'll be fine. It's free. That's what's important to me right now. So my plan is to place this over here. I'm going to level out the ground a little bit. I'm going to put it right here and just use a single screw to screw into the, uh, the fence right here just to give it some left and right support. Water tank will go here. I'm going to cut a hole in the bottom of this trash can. And then into that, I'm going to put the valve and everything. So, as you can see, this, you know, it doesn't really move, it doesn't really wiggle. Front and back, it's not going anywhere. Uh, left and right, like, if I really try to wiggle it, I can. But what I'm going to do is just sink in a single screw through here, and the support for this uh, piece of fence, like the, the 4x4, is right on the other side of this piece. So, that should give me plenty of hold just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. I might put one at the bottom, but probably just the top. Uh, it's just, you know, it's just water on top of something. We don't get really any wind over here. We don't get anything bumping into this. And it's, you know, it's not, I, I don't think there will be any issues with just holding it up that way. Turns out somebody hid the drill and all the bits and everything. So instead of actually securing this with a, with a deck screw, I've got this lag screw and I'm just gonna put that in there. All right, so that's uh, not the most professional, but it's not going anywhere. So time to move on. All right, so. So I gotta put a hole in the bottom here to fit this through. So this is, I measured this is exactly one inch, so I'm just gonna measure out a one inch hole. And I think I wanna put it right here. Now with that scratched in, I'm just gonna cut it out. Well, this would have been a lot easier if I had, uh, this would have been a lot easier if I had a one inch drill bit, but all my stuff went missing. But it's a pretty tight fit. I should be able to just screw this through. And then I can screw this all the way in and then use the other PVC piece to tighten it down. Now that should go on and act as the nut.
All right, there's one last problem I have. Well, not one. One of the next problems I have with this uh, rain is actually rain collection. So I don't have any way to funnel water into it yet. I'm gonna figure something out with that. Uh, the neighbors have a shed right here, which is right on the other side of this fence that I might be able to convince them to let me set up a gutter on there. That would be great. But in the meantime, I realize if I take the lid of this here trash can, I flip it upside down, well, you've got a funnel. In the center, for whatever reason, they put this little black cap that I can pop out, and now there's a little drain hole. I'm gonna wash this off a little, and I'm gonna take some sponge, which is usually used for aquaponics or just aquariums. I'm gonna put some sponge right there to just keep some of the debris out, make sure I don't get any branches or bugs in. And I'm going to place this on top of the trash can. Then I'm going to use a, lar a thick contractor bag and make a skirt to go around the trash can so that it keeps the water from, or keeps the bugs out. All right, well, it started to rain a little bit. It's probably going to rain a whole lot today, so I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up getting this on. I'm just gonna use some double-sided carpet tape to just quickly stick this to the outside of the trash can, and I'll come up with a more permanent solution when it's not about to storm. I not even need the, the tape at all. I'm thinking that'll be enough to just keep this from blowing away and it should keep the bugs out and the sun out a little bit better. Well, that's a, a quick and easy water tower. Uh, as you saw, it, it's currently drained out to below the uh, inlet. So I'm gonna let it rain today. Hopefully we get a big old downpour and we'll see if we come back and there's any water pressure in there. All right, well, it sure rained today. Uh, it rained basically all day. I think you're getting fogged up there. Uh, I set out buckets to collect a little bit of water coming off the roof. They're completely full. Uh, <laughs> the entire yard is flooded. The whole backyard garden area flooded. This is another reason I think why it's, oh man, I'm glad I put on the, uh, the old chacos. Leather boots are not like this. Another reason why I think raised beds are the way to go primarily here because you don't want anything living in that. Oh wow. Remember when I last showed you it was just over the little inlet. It's about a foot of water depth. I don't know how much that is. I got this little piece of aquarium sponge. I'm just gonna kinda jam that in there. Let's see what kind of pressure we got. I don't think we have a lot. Um, I think I will probably want to replace this garden hose with some little beefier. Probably put that big black hose on, but so that's what we're getting. 